Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Nizio Cole, and the other day, the live producer and online director for Watch Dogs Legion did an Ask Me Anything on Reddit and revealed a lot of things and also cleared up a lot of things that I was kind of confused about in the roadmap that they released a few days ago. So in this video, I'm just going to be talking about some of the responses that they gave. Let's get into it. So the first one that we're going to be talking about is in response of somebody asking when it says in the roadmap, when it says April, July, August, is that content going to be spread out through the entire month or is it going to be coming out on one day in that month? And he clarified that all content will be available at once. And this is something that I was actually kind of disappointed about in the fact that they have no plans to release a car on demand 3D printer or music player like in the previous games, which the music player was one of the main things that I really wanted. Uh, just to be able to play whatever music you wanted instead of having to go based off of the radio. They will be adding new perks to NPCs and new abilities. The advanced character customization will be available in online and in single player. There were two responses asking if they would be able to customize the hero characters like Aiden, Wrench, and Mina. And from the responses it seems like that's not really a thing that we're going to be able to do. And as far as advanced character customization goes, things that you can change include hairstyle and color, facial hairstyle and color, piercings, makeup, and nail polish, and tattoos. So it's actually more character customization than we've had in any other game before. In response to somebody asking to clarify what the Extraction game mode is about, he said Extraction is a PvP game mode where players must steal a data drive, race through the city while in pursuit of Albion to reach an area where you need to upload the data drive. The mode puts emphasis on vehicle hacking, shooting, and evading a felony. So this is essentially just an upgraded version of the armored truck from Watch Dogs 2. They said they're working on a feature that will allow private co-op sessions instead of just public only. They're working on new unlockable weapons and gadgets that you'll be able to unlock using influence. If you are a season pass owner, you'll be able to unlock the hero characters as soon as they come out and they do not add to your overall team size limit. He also clarified that hero characters will be available to play in online, but some of their abilities will be adjusted to be adapted to online. In the campaign, if they die while permadeath is on, they're gone for good, but just for that save so you can always start a new save with those characters. As far as the new DJ and first responder characters that they talked about in the roadmap, the DJ has two abilities. The first is an ability that reduces cooldown of other players near you online, and the second is like a blast wave of music that disrupts enemies. And the first responder has a temporary shield that can be used on either yourself or another player nearby. This character also comes equipped with a special crowbar that they can use as a melee weapon. They clarified that 60 FPS for next gen consoles is in development and that they will announce the exact dates for that in the future, but I'm surprised that that wasn't already a feature, like you couldn't play at 60 FPS on new gen consoles? Didn't actually know that. The upcoming PvP invasion will allow players to invade other players that are in free roaming and online. And the last thing that they clarified that in free roam sessions, proximity chat will only be available for 45 meters and then it'll cut out, but it's available in unlimited distances in all other modes. So yeah, that was pretty much all the important stuff that they talked about in the AMA. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.